I hit 40 and I can't lose weight. I can't tell you how many times I have heard this and you may have even, you might be there right now. Um, and you're doing what you've always done and for some reason it just seems, you know, 10 times harder or even close to impossible to lose weight um, because in the past it was just so easily for you to do it. So no matter how clean you eat, no matter how much exercise you add, uh, no matter what type of healthy choices you start to make, you know, the fat just doesn't seem to budge. So now you kind of go down this rabbit hole of now convincing yourself that it's just too late, you're too old, and you'll just never be able to lose weight like you did when you were in your 20s because you feel like your metabolism slowed down forever and your hormones are just so out of whack that there's just no hope. And this is just the price you pay for being a lady in your 40s. <laughs> so you may have even noticed that, you know, you eat foods and you've been eating them your whole life. And now all of a sudden you're developing more, you know, sensitivities to what you eat. And you eat more carbs and you feel as if you're blowing up when you touch carbs. So you're scared to eat carbs or you eat some vegetables and you notice now you're just feeling more bloated than normal. You eat and you get bloated and you're like, what? This never used to happen. So now you go day to day feeling as if, you know, the energy you once had um, doing the same things you were always doing is now such a struggle. Everything seems a little bit more challenging and harder. So first of all, I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. And I'm also here to tell you that you are also wrong in thinking that you're stuck forever because your age does not determine whether or not you can lose weight um, and become more fit. So you can actually be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and still lose weight. The one thing that you do have to change though is going to be your approach. So part of being a female means you go through different seasons in your life. There's no way around it. So yes, your hormones change. Some of you may have children. Your body does in fact keep changing no matter what. So there's no, no getting around it. But knowing this is actually an advantage because if you know what your hormones and you know your body is always continuously changing, then that means what you do to get fit and lose weight always has to change. So now you're at an advantage knowing that you can change it. So changing it is your approach has to be different and you need to not only have your weight loss in mind, but you need to be focused on your whole body as a whole because this becomes more and more important as we age. So are you taking an approach with your health in mind or are you just focused on a physical appearance? Because this is really important. So if you focus on just, you know, um, you know, you focus on looking good along with feeling good and being healthy, then no matter how old you are, as long as you're taking an approach with your health in mind first, you will lose weight. So what does, you know, that approach even look like, you may ask? Well, you want to make sure that your nutrition and your exercise is all in line with making sure that you're able to restore your gut health and you're also having your hormonal health in the forefront. So when we start focusing on just losing weight without those two factors in mind, that's actually what causes us to feel as though we hit a wall. Because these things, you know, when we're younger, you know, in elementary school, high school, sometimes even college, you know, we take everything that we do for granted, uh, all the things we used to be able to do then are a lot different from now because our body changes. We go through different seasons. We could eat whatever we want. We can do whatever we want and not really see a huge impact from it when we're younger. But our body changes and we need to make sure that we're doing um, what we're doing is with our gut health in mind and also with our um, hormonal health. Because if our health becomes imbalanced uh, in any area, it slows down our metabolism, it slows down our weight loss, and it will make you feel as if you can't move forward. That's when you feel that stuck feeling and now you're blaming your age. 
So the same thing goes for, um, you know, your hormonal health. If you're going through life without figuring out what your body needs to keep your hormones balanced, this is key for females as well, um, keep females especially, but both parties, but you'll run into some speed bumps and challenges when your hormonal health is not at the forefront. So once you get all of that under control, your gut health, your hormonal health, losing weight becomes easy again. Because now you're focusing on what your body needs for where you are at in life. So, you know, let's face it. Because times get busy. Life gets ahead of, ahead of us. And in the short term, we slowly start changing our habits. Typically due to lifestyle changes, having a family, getting a new job. We just have more responsibility as we get older. So our focus typically isn't on our habits, but it's just on going through life day to day. And sometimes we don't even do it on purpose. It's just we're busy, especially when you become a mom and things like that. So the problem is when we start making subtle changes, we don't see the difference in the beginning. But year after year, you're gradually starting to fall into a place where you ask yourself, you know, five years, seven years, 10 years, 20 years late, 20 years later, like, how did I get here? And it, it didn't happen overnight. It happened little by little. So finding a way back with your health in mind first, health in mind first, can't stress that enough. And then applying the same principles will lead you to burning more fat. You'll be able to increase your metabolism again. You'll be able to balance out your hormones all by applying small, subtle changes to your day to day. So this week, I actually wanted to share with you some of my clients' experiences, because I work with so many different women at so many different walks of life. Um, and I think it's always great to hear from their perspective and their experience. So I wanted to share my client, Lisa. Um, Lisa is a mom of four. She has two older kids, two younger kids. She's 42 years old. And she literally transformed her lifestyle in just four months. Um, she has the same concerns any 40-year-old mother, you know, had. She was one of the busiest persons I knew. Uh, she was starting a new job. Um, she had so many responsibilities pulling her in so many different directions um, in the past. And that is kind of what led her to gaining some weight. Um, she was turning to food for stress because life gets overwhelming sometimes. So what she didn't do was blame her age and why she can't lose weight and see results. She didn't blame her age. She just knew she needed to find a new lifestyle. And when she started working with me, even with her busy schedule and her new job and her kids, um, Lisa got to work and made it happen. Like she is now a 42 year old, badass, confident mom, police officer, living her life. I see her pictures on Facebook and literally my heart smiles and bursts because you could literally see her confidence like beaming out of her pictures. Um, and it's, it's really, really amazing because she didn't have all the time in the world, but she made it work. And she made what she did fit effortlessly into her new lifestyle. So if you're a busy mom, you're approaching your 40s or you're in your 40s or you may even be out of your 40s, you can absolutely achieve whatever it is that you want, but you need to make sure your health is in mind first because then everything else will follow. So go ahead, click the link below. Um, I attached Lisa's story. Um, you can see what she's all about. She's super awesome. And tomorrow you can join me where I'll actually be sharing how you can still lose weight even without going to the gym, especially with COVID. A lot of people aren't going to the gym. Some people don't like going to the gym. So I'm gonna actually tell you a little bit about what you can do if you can't go to the gym. Um, if you have some aches and pains or injury limitations, and I'm also going to be sharing a client um, with you as well that transformed even without stepping into the gym. So again, click the link below, hear Lisa's story, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.